Hello, my name is Shannon Duffy. I'm a proud member of the Bread and Roses Workers Theater Project. As part of a series of small art presentations, I'm going to recite a poem that's been on my mind a great deal these last couple of weeks. It's by Langston Hughes. Langston Hughes was a fascinating individual. He was multi-talented. He was born here in Missouri uh, in 1901 in Joplin, Missouri. And he pioneered a new art form, jazz poetry. He was also uh, a leader in the Harlem Renaissance. He wrote, uh, he wrote such powerful words. Uh, he, um, perhaps his signature poem is uh, The Negro Speaks of Rivers. Uh, his most famous is probably A Dream Deferred. But the one that I've been unable to shake um, is one perhaps you've heard. It's from 1936. And so, Langston Hughes. <clears throat> Let America be America again. Let it be the dream it used to be. Let it be the pioneer on the plain, seeking a home where he himself is free. America never was America to me. Let America be the dream the dreamers dreamed. Let it be that great strong land of love where never kings connive nor tyrants scheme that any man be crushed by one above. It never was America to me. Oh, let my land be a land where liberty is crowned with no false patriotic wreath, but opportunity is real and life is free. Equality is in the air we breathe. There's never been equality for me, nor freedom in this homeland of the free. <clears throat> Say, who are you that mumbles in the dark? And who are you that draws your veil across the stars? I am the poor white, fooled and pushed apart. I am the Negro bearing slavery's scars. I am the red man driven from the land. I am the immigrant clutching the hope I seek and finding only the same old stupid plan of dog eat dog, of mighty crush the weak. I am the young man full of strength and hope, tangled in that ancient endless chain of profit, power, gain, of grab the land, of grab the gold, of grab the ways of satisfying need, of work the men, of take the pay, of owning everything for one's own greed. I am the farmer, bondsman to the soil. I am the worker sold to the machine. I am the Negro servant to you all. I am the people, humble, hungry, mean. Hungry yet today, despite the dream. Beaten yet today, oh pioneers, I am the man who never got ahead. The poorest worker bartered through the years. Yet, I'm the one who dreamt our basic dream in the old world while still a serf of kings who dreamt a dream so strong, so brave, so true that even yet its mighty daring sings in every brick and stone and every furrow turned that made America the land it has become. Oh, I am the man who sailed those early seas in search of what I meant to be my home. For I'm the one who left dark Ireland's shore and Poland's plain in England's grassy lee and torn from black Africa's strand I came to build a homeland of the free. The free? Who said free? Not me. Surely not me. The millions on relief today, the millions shot down when we strike, the millions who have nothing for our pay, for all the dreams we've dreamed, and all the songs we've sung, and all the hopes we've held. 
and all the flags we've hung, the millions who have nothing for our pay except the dream that's almost dead today. Oh, let America be America again, the land that never has been yet and yet must be, the land where every man is free. The land that's mine, the poor man's, Indians, Negroes, me. Who made America? Whose sweat and blood? Whose faith and pain? Whose hand at the foundry? Whose plow in the rain? Must bring back our mighty dream again. Sure, call me any ugly name you choose. The steel of freedom does not stain from those who live like leeches on the people's lives. We must take back our land again, America. Oh yes, I say it plain. America never was America to me. And yet I swear this oath, America will be. Out of the rack and ruin of our gangster death, the rape and rot of graft, stealth and lies. We, the people, must redeem the land, the mines, the plants, the rivers, the mountains, and the endless plain. All, all the stretch of all these great green states and make America again. Thank you. A little piece of art was brought to you by Bread and Roses, Missouri and sponsored by the Callup Foundation. Just a reminder that at this moment, we may all be apart, but we are all still very much connected. Thank you.